Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take another look at the representation of a couple in the form of a moment, which is actually a vector. So what we're doing here is a couple being represented by a vector, and let's take a closer look at what that moment really is. So first of all, we start off again with a pair of forces. They're equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. The two forces will form a plane somewhere in space. The plane can be directed in any which way. And then if you draw the vector, between the two, start from the starting point of one vector to the starting point of the other vector, you can then say that the moment can be defined as the cross product or the vector product between the position vector between the two forces in, the, in the, one of the forces like that, R cross F. Now, if we then remove the two forces, the couple, and just draw the moment alone, this moment can be simply a representative of those two vectors form a couple. So we can say that this is the result of a couple, it forms a moment. Now the moment can be positioned anywhere we like because it doesn't really matter if it's on the plane or anywhere else, we can take the moment and move it right there with the, with the beginning of the moment at the origin. And then you can see that it's simply a vector in three dimensions. And so that vector will have an X component, it'll have a Y component, and it'll have a Z component. And so what we can then do is we can decompose that moment into the three vectors, the x component, the y component, the z component. Let's do that. So this here would then be representative of the moment in the x direction, at least a component of the moment, and that would then be directed in the x direction. We would have a component in the z direction, and we would have a component in the y direction. So this would be the moment, the component of the moment in the y direction. And also notice that they'll have a sense that this will be either clockwise or counterclockwise. In this case, you can see that this is counterclockwise, and so we'll have, since this is in the positive direction, this will be counterclockwise as well, this will be counterclockwise as well, and this will be counterclockwise as well. Again, the way you know that is you take your fingers, you curl them in the direction of the rotational motion, and your thumb will point in the direction of the component of the moment. So here again, it goes around like this, and it points out this way, and here, oh, I think I have drawn this. Good thing I checked. I think I have drawn it the wrong direction. So you see that the thumb will point in the direction of the component and the fingers will curl in the direction of the sense. So in essence, let's see if I can draw this correctly. It will go like this. So you can see that looking from this direction or looking from the tip up, so that would be counterclockwise direction. Looking towards the tip, it'll be in a counterclockwise direction. Looking towards the tip, it'll be in a counterclockwise direction. It's the best way to think about it. And so what we then can do is we can take those three components, put it on here, and so that this couple can simply be represented by the three components of the moment, the moment component in the y direction, the moment component in the x direction, and the moment component in the z direction. And so that means that this couple, R cross F, can also be represented as such. This can be represented as the component in the x direction, plus the component of the moment in the y direction, plus the component of the moment in the z direction. And so this would be the vector representation of the couple, the two vectors that form the couple. And so another way of looking at what a moment is, what a couple is, how they're related, and how the one is really a vector representation of the two vectors forming the couple. That's how we look at it. Another look at what a... Um, um, I wasn't ready. <laughs>